All right, so now it's time for the demos and just to do a quick run through of what we have here. We have our flat mirror, which we'll work with first. Then we have our kaleidoscope, which is made of three flat mirrors um, and some pretty little colorful um, pieces of plastic. We have a concave mirror. We have a convex mirror. See how the concave mirror caves in? Whereas the convex mirror bulges out slightly. We have a prism. We have a convex lens. And we have a concave lens. Want to be careful with all of these because they are all glass. All right, so first, let's get the flat mirror and hold it up to your face. And you'll see that the flat mirror, um, you can see the law of reflection. The angle of incidence is going to be equal to the angle of reflection. You should see yourself as you normally appear. The, angle, the image should not be um, distorted at all. And then remember that um, you yourself are not luminous. And the reason that you see yourself is because light is being reflected off of you. Um, Remember that a mirror has a smooth, shiny surface that reflects more light than most other illuminated objects. And when a plane or flat mirror reflects light, it preserves the order and pattern of the waves. It's not like a mirror at a fun house in, um, in like a, oh, what's the word? <laughs> at the fair, we haven't been to one in a while with COVID, at the fair where the images are all distorted. A flat mirror really shows you what you look like. Um, so a flat plane mirror always forms upright virtual images. Okay, so look around at that, check yourself out, see how you're looking today, and then replace the flat mirror where it goes on the paper. Okay? All right, so next we have curved, well, before we do the curved mirrors, let's check out the kaleidoscope. Um, so this kaleidoscope is all put together. So I wanted to show you one that you can kind of break apart, this kaleidoscope right here. And again, at any time in the video, feel free to pause so you can play around with this stuff more than what the video allows. But if I take this one apart, you'll see that this kaleidoscope is actually three flat mirrors put together. Oh, see, there I am. Three flat mirrors put together. And when we put them in the kaleidoscope, we make a triangle where they're reflecting in on each other. So I'm going to put them back in here. And it kind of creates like an eternal image. So I'm going to create that triangle. See if you can, yeah, see the triangle? And then you put these beads, these little pretty colorful beads, and you can do any color you wanted right there. And then when you look in here, look at that. And that's so pretty. And then when you turn it, oh my gosh, this takes too much coordination. Okay, when you turn it, you can see the different pictures, the different images, okay? So you take this kaleidoscope right here and look in it. I don't know if this one's going to look as good. This one you'll have to do yourself and turn it. Hold it up to the light and look and see um, the different images that you can create with that one. All right, after you've done the kaleidoscope, we're going to talk about the concave mirror. Now, be sure to note how it caves in. And a concave mirror is also called a converging mirror because the light hits and then it converges in on a focal point. Um, a concave mirror focuses light. It makes the image larger. And we would use this for like a makeup mirror. And it forms a real inverted image um, if it is beyond the focal point of the lens, and it forms an upright virtual image if the object is between the focal point and the mirror. So what I want you to do with this is I want you to take it, can you see me in this mirror right here? And I want you to hold it up really close to your eye and look at your eye. You should be able to see all your eyelashes, you should be able to see your pupil. Look at me in this mirror right here and you can see what I'm doing. Hold it up really, really close to your eye. You should see like your eyebrow hairs, all the lines around your eye. I'm seeing too many lines around my eye. Wrinkles, okay? 
Now what I want you to do is take and pull it back. Look at me in this mirror right here. Pull it back, and when you get to a certain distance, like where I am right here, I'm looking at myself, and I am upside down. I've gone past that focal distance, and that's where I am inverted. I am upside down. I'm seeing my whole classroom now upside down, and I'm probably a foot away from my face now, whereas here, look at me right here in this mirror, I'm maybe an inch, if that, away from my face. So you kind of test that out with this concave mirror. Now the convex mirror, it bulges. And real world examples of that would be um, in the library, in ISS, in the corner of stores like moats. And the convex mirror, it spreads light. It makes an image smaller. So it allows you to see, like you can see a lot of my classroom. Look at how much of my classroom you can see right there. So take and hold it up and look at how much you can see around you using that convex mirror. Um, you see these on trucks that have like trailers and stuff and it always says um, images are smaller than they appear. Um, so kind of test that out and see. It doesn't make anything ever be upside down. Um, it always forms upright virtual image. All right, next we have the prism. And prisms are so cool because they refract light. Light travels a certain speed through the air, but then when it hits this glass, it slows it down. It makes it hit the brakes. So you're going to take this prism. And you're going to see that white light is really not white at all. It's actually all of Roy G. Biv put together. So you're going to take this prism, look at me in this mirror right here, and you're going to hold it where your eye is looking through the side. Let's see if I can hold it where you can see. And look up. Look in the side and look up. And you're going to see all around you is really not white light at all. It's actually rainbows everywhere. The lights, um, the light coming in from the sun, the smart board, everything is really rainbows. So you're going to hold it. You're going to hold it like this and put your eye looking in like that and look up. If you can't figure it out where you see rainbows, get your teacher to help you because this is too cool to miss. And then look up and see that light being refracted, and that white light is really not white at all. It's actually all of Roy G. Biv. Okay, now we have the convex lens, and if you run your finger, do this, and run it down the middle, you feel that it gets slightly thicker in the middle and skinnier on the edges. This convex lens is called a converging lens. It's transparent. We can see through it. And the convex lens forms upright virtual image if the object is between the focal point and the lens. It forms a real inverted image if the object is beyond the focal point and the lens. So, first thing I want you to notice is look at this. Look what it's doing over the words. Do that with yours. Do you see that it's a magnifying glass? Then, take and hold it up. See if I can do this. Hold it up so it's at arm's length. Watch me in this mirror. And if you look through the classroom, look through where you are, you should see when you hold it out, I'm at arm's length now. I'm probably two feet from my face. The classroom is upside down. So the convex lens does the same thing as the concave mirror. These two guys do the same thing. All right. This convex lens is the corrector for being farsighted. So if you're farsighted, if you can't read a book right in front of your face, then this would be the corrective lens for you. Now in contrast is the concave lens. Hold it in your hands and run your fingers through it like this. It's thicker on the edges and gets skinnier in the middle. The concave lens, look what it does. It shrinks the words. See how it makes the words smaller? 
If you hold up somebody's glasses and they shrink the words on the page, then that means that they are nearsighted, okay? That means that the lens in their eye is too round and they need a concave lens to fix. So the concave lens is very similar to the convex mirror. They do the same thing, okay? So what I'd like for you to do is please replace everything back on your paper like this and let your teacher know that you're ready to move on. Um, I do need to say the con, uh, that concave lens always forms upright virtual images. Okay, so we're going to have this. You can review it at any time. The flat mirror, the kaleidoscope, the concave mirror, the convex mirror, the prism, the convex lens, and the concave lens. These two guys do the same thing. They focus light. These two guys do the same thing. They spread light. Okay, have a great rest of your day.